Piloting a jet on the anniversary of the day he cheated death 18 years ago, Ming makes a fateful decision. I'm back for a while. Finish your lunch. I am. Some water? If he was going back, his right hand would have probably been within inches of the cockpit voice recorder circuit breaker. It's not difficult to pull one of those leaving the cockpit without the other pilot being aware of it. Silk Air 185 at Part E, contact Singapore 134.4. Silk Air 185, Roger 134.4. Ming waits until after the last radio call before returning to the cockpit. Duncan, there's a problem in the galley. He could easily have said to Duncan Ward, the girls want to see you in the back, there may be a leaky tap or something like that. All the person remaining in the cockpit has to do is to lock the door. If the circuit breaker of the to the flight data recorder is pulled, it, it illuminates a master caution. There's one in front of each pilot, so that's why he really couldn't do that while there was another pilot in the cockpit. The cockpit voice recorder was no longer recording. The flight data recorder was no longer recording. Ming wants no record of what he's about to do next. The flight profile is one that uh, Su Wei Meng would have been quite familiar with because he'd been in the Singapore Air Force. Less than a minute after disabling the FDR, Ming puts the 737 into a hard right roll. He placed it in a, an inverted dive, approximately 80 degrees, nose down, and he had to use considerable force on the control column to keep it there. Duncan Ward now has no hope of saving the plane. I know that he would have done whatever he could. It's all over in less than a minute. 